Hey there, I'm Neo Scooby, and this is my UAM series where monsters are locked until death assigns me to harvest their souls. I receive random tasks from a spreadsheet containing every monster in Gilinor spread across six tiers, all with the goal of obtaining the ultimate weapon for a Reaper. So last time we made a lot of great progress and left off with the Black Unicorn full, meaning that, once again, I need to get across White Wolf Mountain. And I think it's a sign of real progress that I managed to run across without any food this time. Now, in the Initiate tier, a lot of the tasks are free, meaning they have no requirement, so I can just bang them out real quick. Alright, the witch's experiment. This one is not exactly free because it's a quest monster, but it's also a quest that I am very happy to be doing. It rewards a lot of HP experience, which is going to be massive for those uh, no food runs across White Wolf Mountain. Uh, I went ahead and finished up my beginner clue before starting the quest, and um, I think I'm going to take a break from beginner clues. Uh, but. I ran on over to Taverly and started up the Witch's House quest. It's really no problem at all. Just gotta run away from that witch, pop myself into her shed here, uh, and then I was trying to safe spot the first two phases of the witch before realizing that it was actually impossible. Fortunately, the next two phases of the monster are very easy to safe spot, and Fire Strike is completely broken in the early game, so this quest was absolutely no problem for my underleveled ass. So, I just went ahead and um, fucked up real quick, but I only had to run through the bushes again and just finish up the quest no problem. And let's get back into those free tasks. General Kazard or Kazard or K has Ard. No idea. But he is the quest boss for the Fight Arena quest, which is a great one to do in the early game because it does offer a lot of attack XP. So very happy to do this. Uh, this is the opposite of Fashionscape, but we're going to roll with it for now because this is a very simple quest with a great reward. And in true old school RuneScape fashion, we are going to indulge an alcoholic in order to save a child. Yeah, I think it fits. Now, I do want to offer a quick reminder about how the sheet works. General Kahazard is the soul that I need to harvest. However, considering there are monsters that I have to kill before I can kill Kahazard, those are automatically unlocked. And fortunately, all the monsters in this quest are very respectful of social distancing, so all I really had to do was stand about six feet away from them and fire blast their asses until I ran out of runes. <laughs> And all that's left to do is just to run over and complete the quest. 12,000 attack XP, beautiful stuff. That'll bring me up to, what, level 29 attack, phenomenal. And a couple thieving levels in there too. Let's get our next assignment.
Temple Garden is a quest monster during the Priest in Peril quest. We actually kill it pretty early on in the quest, but this is going to be a really big one because it unlocks all of Moritania, a huge section of the map with a ton of content. There is one problem though. We have not completed Rune Mysteries, and with the rules of the account, we're not able to. So we're going to need another way to get Rune Essence, and we need 50 Rune Essence, or Pure Essence, in order to complete this quest. There are a couple different ways of getting Rune Essence other than mining it. Uh, for example, an option we could use is capturing Essence Implings with a higher Hunter level, but Fortunately, that wasn't necessary because we have already unlocked Minotaur, and Minotaur can drop 15 noted essence at a time. And this is fantastic for me because if the essence is already coming noted, then I can unnote it as needed for the quest without having to empty my entire inventory mid quest. So that's fantastic. So I hopped on over to the Security of Stronghold after starting the quest and murdered Minotaur until I had the required 50 rune essence. I also decided to waste 20 minutes of my time running around in hopes of getting a pair of mole slippers, but of course that did not work out. Uh, killing the actual Temple Guardian was no problem at all. Very simple, barely needed any food, just took it out with range. And after I killed it, I had to run all the way back to Varrock in order to tell the king that I had killed it so that I could run all the way back to the temple to help the priest. So we have to kill one of these monks of Zamorak in order to get a key so that we can free the priest from his cell upstairs. No problem at all, except that um, sometimes you have your left click set to teleport on your chronicle and not wield and you accidentally send yourself a 15 minute walk away from where you need to be. And you get to walk all the way back and do it again. So, we're gonna brush off that self-loathing, pick up the key, spread some holy water on this coffin so that the priest can get out, and make a couple trips back and forth to a bank so that I can unnote the essence, and bring it to Drezzle. And with the last batch, that is my quest complete. Got a couple prayer levels off of there. And we have Moritania unlocked. This is going to be huge for the account in the future. But for now, there's really nothing for us to do here. Everything is way over leveled. So let's get our next assignment. Okay, next time we'll be starting with an Alcarid warrior. So that's a free task. And I'm just going to head on off to Lumbridge and do that. But you'll have to wait until next time. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I made a lot of really good progress here. And in the next video, I will be finishing the Initiate tier. So be sure to stop by for that. Um, really, I do want to take a second just to say that I've been blown away with the support that y'all have had for the series. So just thank you so much. Um, it feels kind of lame, but the really nice comments y'all leave honestly do really motivate me to make the videos and yeah it's just been a fun experience and y'all are awesome so see you next time